you know, he played a lot of football for us last year. I think, you know, he met our expectations. I, I, you know, we didn't want to miss a beat, and I don't think we did. You know, I think uh, he was really into the game. He knew the adjustments. Um, I think for him, he would tell you that he was happy that he got the chance, and, you know, he embraced it, so it was good. It's kind of what you want to happen. You're right. I mean, he did play a lot for you last year, and then, you know, spring comes, and you, you move him down. I mean, what's it say about him? I mean, Well, really, really the, the only reason why – we spent so much time, we invested so much time in the other guys because he wasn't practicing really on that day. So uh, it got to the point where are you going to make a change if you feel like you're stronger? Uh, you know, and it's just it's one of those things, you know, I hate to say it, it's one of those things where the guy playing ahead of you didn't want to give it up, and he didn't. So that's what happened. But, I mean, he is a great kid. He's a great kid. Great kid. He's a senior, and he did what you would expect a guy that invested that much into the program to do. Good role model for you know future line yeah, and freshman anybody. guys. You know, I mean, I don't know, I don't know that we'll turn him into Rudy or anything like that. You know what I mean? But I mean, it is. I mean, he he, he was the starter. He got hurt. He missed the end of the season. Spring practice was a mess. Went to fall camp. We didn't want to make a change. We felt like we were strengthening ourselves with the guys we had in there. He embraced, embraced the role as the backup guy. He never misses anything. Always there. Always always involved in the meetings and stuff. And then it paid off for him when it's his turn. Is he also your backup center? He is right now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where we are. But, uh, yeah. yeah, and he's done a really good job. I mean, we, we couldn't have practiced probably. I mean, we just couldn't have played the game probably because Artie would have had to take too many staffs in practice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even in a situation like Saturday where you guys you know, had a physical edge over your opponent, did you see the technique things get corrected? We did. And, and, and they, you know, it's, it's not always the physical edge. They were a defense that moved around. They ran a lot of stunts. That's why the ball came free. There were a lot of linebackers attacking the line of scrimmage that we blocked. There's nobody between them and the safeties. That's why the ball comes free. But you have to be alert to pick it up. So there was. There was some good technique stuff right there. What's a game like that do for a line confidence-wise, running the ball the yeah, way you do? You know did? what? We're right off of it. We're, we're, now we're back to playing 30 defense, you know, all the adjustments that go with that. You know, we're getting bounced back and forth. So we're right off of it. You know, congratulations. So we'll talk about at the end of the year. You know, obviously, when you get on the bus when the game's over and you're leaving, you go on air, a guy ran for 250. I don't know if we do that in practice any day. So you're happy. Dorian's been working a little bit of guard, right, in emergency? Yeah, well, it's the same thing. We're, we're just moving guys around. We have to maintain some sort of depth. Uh, he's athletic enough to pull. Uh, he gives us an added dimension there. He's strong enough to, to block a three technique. Uh, you know, and down the line, who knows what will happen. You know what I mean? We've got, we're recruiting, we're moving up. We're, we're moving to more bodies of practice, more bodies of being ready to play. So who knows where it'll fit? I don't really care. I just want to make sure we got the best five out there. How have the two guards done this year, you know, playing in that, those playing on the inside? Good. You know what? I think Matt's really stepped up and embraced it. I, th I think at first, I, I think he wished he would have stayed to tackle. But I think now some of the nuances are coming to him. You know, uh, I think he's done a really good job. And, you know, we always liked Corey's strength. We never thought that he was an outside player. He saved us last year by being able to go out, just go out there and do it, attempt it. He allowed us to play. So when he went in there, we were happy. And then sleep stepped up. It's good. And Dorian's done a nice job. Now, Dorian's impressive in there. Much more impressive maybe than I thought for a freshman. That's his strength. I mean, you mentioned his athleticism. He is. He has great strength. If you look at him right now, he is really, compared to what our guys are, he's like 284 pounds. Now, people look at that and they say, that's a big guy. You know, the guy who he's re working to replace is 320. You know, so there is, there's, and he's blocking big three techniques at guard a lot. So, you know, we got to keep working on that, keep getting him bigger. He's a young kid. We'll never, ever have to worry about what we get back for what he's getting practicing and playing at our end. Whether it's just one play a game or 50 plays a game, we'll get it back tenfold in the spring. Since the Duke game, the, the offense, the numbers have fallen off a little bit. Have you mm -hmm. seen anything specific that... No, that you know, I think like I said to you last week, I, you know, you feel like the guy at the cloud, you're, we got a block right, we, tri we trip. We feel like we got a block right, we trip. That was two of our first runs in the game. Now you get behind, they score. Now you're playing a different game, you know, and I really don't believe right now we're built that way. We're built to try to run the ball at you. And you get in a situation where you're throwing the catch up, doesn't you get off the mark, you don't make first downs, you're in trouble. And that's really been the biggest difference early we did. You know, uh, but 
you know, we'll see where it goes. Like, like I said, we couldn't we couldn't hang our head. We had to come back and play. We won the game. We got to come back and play this week. So another opponent, new opponent. This team's had a lot of success over the years. They're not afraid of anybody. So we got to get down there and play good. How about Adam? How's he done from the beginning of the season? Tonight? Really good. You know what? He's growing up every day. He tell you the same thing. He's still got a lot to learn. Now that's a hard position. He's got a lot to learn. There's people bearing down on him all the time. But he's done a good job. He he. Uh, if there's one thing about him, and it's a good thing, we had to keep him from being over aggressive, especially late in the game. It's what hurt him. He he thinks he's got to throw somebody on the ground every play, and sometimes you just got to be where you got to be. That's a tough. Is that the toughest position on the line for a freshman or retro yeah, freshman left tackle? Know, it is just because people are going to rush the quarterback. You know what I mean? On the right side, most people are right-handed. The guy's looking at the rush coming that way. That's why people call it that. You know, they 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 tell you you got to protect his backside. So. That's what we're doing. Anything else for Coach before we get to Brian? Yeah, was he really challenged in the Virginia Tech game? It seemed like there was a lot of stuff happening on that that end of the line, that end of the formation. Uh, yeah, that's good. Virginia Tech, I don't know, <laughs> 10 days ago. They had seven sacks, so I guess he was. You know what I mean? I don't know, or whatever they had, eight sacks. I, I'm sure he was. But uh, like I, mean, I said, some, of it, of, some of it was some of it was more mental than physical. I really didn't believe it was a physical thing when you sat and watched the tape. So whatever it was that he was involved in, yeah, I would say he had some mental challenges there. What's the one thing that gives you hope in the second half of the season? Just the attitude of the kids. I mean, we're 4-2. and two. We're doing good. There's a lot of teams who want to be 4-2. and two. We're doing good. We're not satisfied. We're not satisfied with the two losses, but we're moving forward. We win this one, we'll be, you know, we'll be where we want to be playing. You know, and that's it. If we can focus on this game and everybody points at it, and our kids play that way, so if we can get them focused – Get everybody playing the whole game will be good, you know? Coach, thanks very much. Okay.